that was like about 220 kilos of malted barley. Uh, we got that in bags, put it through the mill, cracked it all open. So we want to crack it open so the water can mix in there and take the starch into sugar. Take it up through the conveyor, drop it into the mash tun. In here, it's basically the water and the grain stirring around like porridge, converting starch to sugar. After that hour, you've converted all the starch to sugar. We then want to transfer that liquid from here over to here, but without the grain and the husk in it. So pull all the sugary water over here. It's called wort then. It goes into here, which is the kettle. So transfer the liquid in there, spraying uh, hot water through the grain bed, which is called sparging. And that's just extracting all those remaining sugars out on your way over to the kettle. Then we end up with about 1,350 litres of boiling hot liquid in there, ready to boil. Pull all the grain out then, goes into some containers, we send it off to a pig farm and they have a great time eating it. And you're also adding hops. So hops, um, they're like a bushy sort of buddy plant, grow about as high as the roof. Uh, they give you bitterness and some of the aroma in a beer. So this beer we're using um, some Cascade hops for bittering um, and then we're using some more Australian grown Ala and Galaxy hops which give you like really punchy kind of passion fruit and grapefruit aromas. So from here we then transfer it through the heat exchanger. So this thing over here is literally just like a big chiller. Um, the wort runs one way, the water runs the opposite direction and into the tank through a hose. Um, add yeast to it as you're filling up the tank. So the yeast is then going around like Pac-Man, chewing up all the simple sugar that you made over there, spitting out CO2, which you can see, and alcohol, which is, is going in there as well. And that's yeah, kind of it. So after that, it then gets transferred from the fermenter over to the bright beer tanks, which are those little stubby tanks over there. And we've also got, I'll take you out the back now, we can have a look at the canning line. So we only, this is pretty exciting. We only just got this about six weeks ago. So yeah, this, this bit of building, still a bit of a work in progress. But yeah, this is the canning line. So beer comes out, um, we can can about 40 cases an hour. We kind of think that cans are better for the beer. The main thing is light is a pretty big enemy to beer. So being in a can, you're not getting any light. So beer I mean, it won't go stale and cheesy. We're gonna have a fresher beer for longer in a can. So that's why we've done it. And it does look quite cool in a can, but 